a busy day today at Carrington and we are back here on the United Hotspot coming to you from Carrington, the home of Manchester United and where all the cooking is done. Now today I was at Carrington for the whole day. I camped at Carrington and I saw every player come in guys. It's the last training first of all. I was pleased and surprised that United does have a training on the eve of the game and it was long because they probably started around past midday and went on up to evening close to 5 p.m. we were there and trust me I was there in the cold but before I go any further first of all good morning good evening good afternoon have you subscribed but look at why Bruno Fernandes is the right captain for Manchester United this guy as most of the players were refusing to stop and sign autographs for fans who are waiting for them the entire day in the cold in the rain it was drizzling a bit and coming cold again Bruno is the one player after training late when it was already getting dark stopped and packed his car his bentley and he was signing autographs for each and every fan who was there to watch this training now for me that is classic bruno and everyone the kids there left excited when so many other players were all feeling he is the one player i thought represented what manchester united is all about because this is exactly what Sir alex ferguson has already said that you should respect the fans because they are the reason why you paid a lot of money i saw johnny evans as well before training started evans comes there and was talking to everyone at all the fans smiling taking pictures and hey, autographs and Johnny signing them and Evans. talking to them tom hey. Pitton is another one who was so humble today and please? i thought hey, for me these are the players no wonder they are successful at manchester united no wonder we love them no wonder we respect them uh, rasmus hoyland webbed uh, in his in his uh, in his uh range rover i saw uh, bashal also webbed uh, but uh, anyway i will talk about the, these players and how they behave but uh, let me just get into the news ahead of the game. So that's what happened today at Carrington. And it was a good, I think, experience. I think it was good to see how players were psyched. But uh, from what I saw, Anthony Marshall left early uh, for the training in his cross country. That is him leaving, if you look there. Uh, so Marshall will not be in tomorrow's squad. I know Victor Lindelof as well was left early before the rest of the players left. Facundo Pelistri as well, probably he's planning his long move away. He also left early. But most of the other players, Casemiro in his white, uh, what car is that? He looked like a Range Rover, a Land Rover, a confusing car it was. He waved a bit from the car. Oh, Andro no, Nana no. came and was hesitating. He came as if he wanted to go in. And again, Andro Nana continues to show that he's unsure. He does, he's not so confident in himself. Because even the kid there was complaining that Onana oh, is confusing, he's disrespectful. He comes driving his car slowly as if he's going to stop and sign autographs with the fans. But... He, he he then moves and but he waved uh so did uh, that was him going in for training rafael varen came out he waved to the fans one bisaka doesn't care about anyone for him he just drove off <laughs> he just drove off that was after training then uh same thing with ganacho you know the kids all kids were there went to the piece of ganacho they were crying kids were crying because ganacho did not stop and they were telling their parents why didn't he stop why didn't he stop you know carrington is so guarded it's a private space in the woods like you see it right there it's abandoned uh, as if you would say it's in the middle of nowhere and uh, it's, it's private access but they allow people to go to at the, uh, get, walk until the main entrance and you know you're able if players allow uh, to stop you can talk to them i saw wine rooney there wine rooney was there today and he also refused to stop and uh, i mean i just bumped into him i was shocked that he's there he came out early because I, I went there around 11 or 10 a.m and he was coming out, probably had dropped his child, maybe one of the academy kids. Then later he came back, I think, with them. Then he continued in the residences at Carrington, so he probably still stays in there, uh, where most of the players, you know, were going. Uh, so it was a beautiful day, but I think I felt like the body language and the chemistry, the, 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 the body language of the players for me, most of the players was good, uh, I feel. Uh, it was decent. But uh, I, I, I didn't know, I don't like the fact that whereas there were so many players waiting for these players to sign autographs, most of them were feeling on them in their expensive cars. I thought that did not look good. So kudos to Bruno Fernandez. He's a legend. He signed each auto, each, each player's auto, each uh, fan's autograph. Johnny Evans as well. Uh, but getting proper into the game in terms of players and personnel. So I expect to see Casemiro probably in the squad. He will be there. I expect to see him because he came and trained, you know, uh, uh, decently well. And uh, at least like Eric Ten Hag spoke to us, he is expect, he's one of those he's expecting to come. For Marshall, probably his way is out. He came uh, a bit almost late, not 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 per se, 
uh, but left so early in his cross country and he, 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 he with his hoodie on and he also waved to the fans look sambo like he is on the pitch uh, the first player to arrive from all those I saw was Althel Binding in, in a black Range Rover. I was shocked. I hope we do get a chance to see him play a few minutes. But of course, like I said, Andrew Nana was there, was there and hesitating. So he was uh, driving his car with someone. Uh, but Binding came early and he actually was recording us. He was the one recording the fans waiting. But I just, I was shocked that it was him. I wasn't ready to record him. I did not expect that it was him. Then he passed, I, he just reaches me and drives inside and it's Binding. But yeah, it was good to see him in his Range Rover. His body language didn't look like an excited guy. You'd think if he was excited, he would have stopped for, you know, to sign photographs and all. Uh, then who else? Which other player can we, can we speak? Uh, Diogo Dalo waved when he was going in, when he was coming out. He didn't, he didn't seem to care. Marcus Rashford drives tinted cars, a tinted Lamborghini, which he did not open at all. And those were, I think, used to going there. No, for him, that one. Him and Juan Bissaka are known for never stopping. Whether his baby is crying and crying for their signatures, they never stop. Yet, Marcus Rashford, Alejandro Ganacho, and Rasmus Hoyland seem to be the most loved players for the young kids uh, who, you know, who support Manchester United. So I don't know whether that, that matters. But let's get proper into the game. So the last training, like I said, uh, was good. So I told you the three players you should have. Ahmad Diallo was dropped off, uh, dropped off by probably the mom. So he's in the squad. He did train today in a white, uh, was it a, a Benz, a white Benz? But he wasn't the one driving. But he was dropped off and the lady went out and you know later came back to pick him. Uh, he's, I think, the only player who was dropped uh, is Ahmad Diallo, I think. Uh, most of the other players were driving themselves in these expensive rides, as you see them there. So enjoy, of course, the Man United cars and, you know, ahead of the game. But it is, uh, I'm not sure it's a good thing because the training took long. I told you they went, they probably started around because you would see from a distance, you could see them training. And they started around mid the half or thereabout. But they went on up to nearly 4.30. And... Uh, okay, the training ended about towards towards three uh, or towards two thirty or thereabout. But then they were in there probably now having the meeting or pre-match meeting and stuff. That took longer. That could have taken about three and a half or four hours. You can imagine whatever they were discussing. I hope it was good enough. So we do know that Eric Ten Hag is a meticulous manager, and we were taking on a Tottenham Mospas who beat us in the reverse fixture. So probably he was trying to, you know, do do things meticulously in this one. Uh, but the cold in Carrington, I just, I mean, I just feel for these players and I wonder how they play, how their bodies adapt. I don't know whether there are things they use to enhance their reaction to cold because they train from the hardest conditions and uh, probably that is part of why it's so difficult to train at, to play for Manchester United because uh, since they train the train, because the, the, the place they train from is too abandoned and it's too cold. There are no buildings around. It's only open fields and uh, a bit of water, a bit of, you know, uh, a, a, a bit of you know uh, what wo, 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 uh, trees or maybe what, what should I say? Uh, there the are open fields and a bit of abandoned what woods without really not a forest but a dry forest if I would say but without you know real trees uh, trees with with, uh, with with branches. It's it's funny. It's a funny place. It's like a it's like a, a huge farm that is abandoned. So that's why they because in the neighborhood there is a horse riding you know space and some stuff like that so it's it's when it's winter it's too cold and you wonder how on earth these players are able to run and play football so i, I sort of got to understand why players struggle especially players who come from africa the andro nanas the jemba jemba has failed at united if you think about manchester united most of the african players who went there i think struggled i think that weather is so difficult and the space remember they, they trained they've been training from there since 2000 uh, so you can imagine all the players who went there. If you're coming from a, from a, from the tropics, that's a very difficult place to train. But I think it's the best way for you to try and adopt and, and adopt. So, yeah, that's uh, that's a bit of uh, the team. But for me, for the most part today, I wanted to see you know the players and how they come in and you know who comes on time. Like I said, Bindel came on time. I seem so humble. I, I saw uh, who else who followed in there. Johnny Evans is among those who came early. Then Casemiro came early a bit as well. Bruno and, and Onana also came a little towards uh, you know uh, uh, midday. You wouldn't know exactly, but but Ganacho was, was rushing in. Probably there were some of these players were late. But Ganacho does not care about fans. He doesn't even wave. So, well, while certain players wave, Ganacho, who is loved by the kids the most, is not does not even care to wave to anyone. So 
it's all good but probably it's because some of these players have, have dropped in confidence they don't believe in their, themselves that much but yeah it was a good last training today for man united and uh, the news from the team from what we saw Marshall, Facundo Pelistri and Victor Lindelof you won't expect to see them I did not see Anthony as well at all maybe I, he had come in early by the time I came and maybe he didn't he did, yeah. then Kobe Maino was there as well I missed him but he took photos with some kids there but I missed him uh, but yeah it was a good day to be honest first time I was at you know, the Carrington training facility and trust you me it was worth it I stood I've never stood that long in my entire life I stood from morning up to towards 6 p.m. I left when it was dark. But all to bring to you the experience at Manchester United. Before we do take on a big team like Tottenham Mosfars. This is the United Hotspot. Subscribe. My name is Webb. I'll catch you later, guys.